Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I'm Andrew the Love Doctor, and I specialize in breakups. We're catching people creeping, lying, and cheating in relationships. I want to thank everyone for their support. It's encouraging to know I'm making a difference in people's lives today. Today I'm going to be discussing red flag number 267, setting goals after a narcissist. We all had that one monster that made our life a mess. There will always be three types of people in your life. Those who helped you in your difficult times, those who left you in your difficult times, and those who put you in your difficult times. Please watch red flag number 133, The Shattered Dreams with a Narcissist. It took me two plus years just to expel the fury I had within me. That's how hurt I was. What hurt it more was the astronomical betrayal of someone that convinced you they loved you, who claimed to have your back, laugh at your pain while they befriended your enemies. Please watch red flag number 19, how dangerous is a narcissist. In my opinion, breakups are associated with addiction because both involve a recovery process. The objective is to start over and rebuild. I documented my recovery from the beginning of my discard to show others in my situation by example you will recover. Before and after videos of my first video November 14, 2016 is undisputed evidence it does get better. My subscribers say they see a profound change within my demeanor I'm less angry, more relaxed, and cuss less. And since going to school, I'm getting more technical with my content. I'm at peace now. Because the monster's family confirmed they know I was nothing but nice to that monster. Before the monster's indiscretion. Keyword, before. And that monster was caught in so many and I quote, Colossal Lies. God, I love that one. That she can't weasel her way out of this one. Prime example, 47. Lies, that narcissistic lies that backfire. Within this video is a screenshot of the monster lying its ass off. I told you immediately after the discard. It will become of great importance that people know the truth. Because so many lies was told behind your back. When you have been vindicated, that anger will evaporate like a soul leaving the body after death. Then you realize you're better off because someone like this cannot be your life's partner because there's no respect to build on. Prime example. Lilith's daughter on social media. Andrew is a small dang motherfucker. My mother said his penis is so small he can't get it up. What mother discusses her man's penis size with her daughter? Answer, an immoral, ratchet woman. However, I assure you, the time will come when none of this will matter. That's when you start to work on yourself. The key now is going inside yourself and fixing and healing what is hurting and broken. And making sure that you only attract top-notch quality people from now on. When the monster leaves you, it will attempt to make you feel worthless. Red flag! Know your worth or people will make you feel worthless. Run! The monster is going to say things like, no one else is going to want your ass. You can't do better than me. You will never amount to anything. That's not facts. That's their curse to wish someone ill will. Red flag! 
These words and phrases are used to break down a person's self-esteem. Monsters put you down to build themselves up. Psychology is, if you hear it long enough, you tend to believe it. When you start to believe, that's when you lost faith in yourself. And when you lose faith in yourself, you give power to those to control you. Those that have that power will most certainly abuse you. Run! When people curse you, that's their opinion. And they are entitled to their opinions. Ignore them. Focus on yourself. Better yourself. Uplift yourself. This is done by setting goals. SMART goals. S-M-A-R-T. S. Specific. What you wish to accomplish and what the end result should be. M. Measurable. How long will the goal be achieved? There are two types of goals. Performance and outcome goals. Keep in mind that you will always have more control over performance than you will over the outcome. A. Action. Action oriented. Use these words when planning. A lot of people talk shit and don't do nothing. R. Realistic. Vision what your capabilities are. Kind. Don't procrastinate. Set deadlines to measure your success. There are three time frames for this. Short term, one year or less. Immediate term, one to five years. Long term, more than five years. Since you probably lost so much, five years is normally realistic to get back on your feet mentally, physically, and financially. A popular interviewing technique is the question, where do you see yourself in five years? What makes the difference is your frame of mind. You keep a sound frame of mind by keeping negative influences out of your life. I swear during these YouTube videos, I've learned from the school of hard knocks. Keep people out of your business. Tell no one what you are doing. Never tell your problems to anyone. 20% don't care. The other 80% are glad you have them. Let the haters find something to hate on on their own. The monsters did steal your joy. But you can still make a happy life for yourself. All you need is the determination not to give up. There's a saying about life. Survival of the fittest. There's another saying. Life is a struggle. When you recover from your breakup. You will feel much stronger and wiser. Trust me. You will. Lastly, don't take the coward's way out and get into another relationship. This is the time for you to be selfish and make it all about you. Live by the Greek philosopher Aristotle's virtue theory. By being a better person and strive for human excellence. Relationships are distractions you can't afford right now. Nor are you ready for. Remember, don't do what I do. But identify with what I have shared and apply the lessons I have learned to your own life. P.S. My apology to those who are offended when I cuss. Even though I will limit, limit the obscenities because that's not my nature to cuss. But I'm no longer drinking tea. I'm a firm believer the best way to recover is to express yourself fully with no limitations. Malcolm X, a great man of logic, said, A man cusses because he doesn't have the words to say what's on his mind. This is true. But Malcolm X wasn't married to a narcissist. I bet you any money if Betty Shabazz his wife, call him at 5 o'clock in the morning from my house to tell him she's sleeping with me. And I text him afterwards, she's in good hands. Malcolm would say, damn motherfucker. 
You're not dealing with intelligence. You're dealing with raw emotions. Breakups are raw and nasty. So why should it be discussed in any other way? During arguments and relationships, if you never said, fuck you, motherfucker, shit, asshole, this is not the channel for you. You will need to go to another channel for help. This channel is for those who had realistic fights like Ted and his wife in Ted 2. Which is basically the typical today's relationship which is at the end of this video.